Absolutely. You know what? I'm going to do something that nobody done on your television. Mm. You know what I'm going to do I'm on your episode? I'm, I'm going to do. I am going to pretend that I'm an Israeli citizen. I'm going to put my, my myself in the in the place of an Israeli settler in the kibbutz, and I want to speak to my prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, I have voted for you because you have promised us peace and prosperity and security. On the 7th of October, those son of bitches Hamas, they went into the fence that is regularly heavy, heavily guarded. Usually if there's like a, a, a dove that comes close to it, it will be shot. Mm. Those people went in and they went for six hours before IDF forces was deployed, killing our friends, our families, kidnapping our grandmothers and babies and went in. I want to ask you, Mr. Prime Minister, after you have fractured the Israeli community and you have fucked our courts, our Supreme Courts, what are you doing with the money being given to you to the United States? Also, you are carpet bombing Gaza with absolutely no regard to our hostages, our people. I heard a rumor in the kibbutz that you are doing that as an you let that happen to as an excuse to carpet bomb Gaza. So you push them into Sinai. And I didn't believe it. That's like not my prime minister. He can never do that. And then I watch an interview for Danny Ailon. He was your chief advisor. He was also the Israeli ambassador to the United States. And you know what he said, Mr. Prime Minister? He said that the solution for those Palestinians is to go into a vast land of Sinai and live into 10 cities temporarily, huh? temporarily, wink, wink, until we build Gaza again, and then we invite you back. We've seen this movie before. So yani, and, I, and when I saw this, I couldn't explain to my fellows in the kibbutz how come our Israeli government is trading human lives for another piece of land? So as an Israeli citizen, I need to hold my Israeli government accountable. And as an American citizen, I want to know all of these money that we are giving to Israel. We're giving them four billion dollars every year. Joe Biden said it's the best investment they ever America ever done. Well, I, if I am in the in the place of Joe Biden, I would say sorry, don't speak. Uh, yeah, the, I, I would I would say if I was Joe Biden, I would go down and whisper in the ears of Netanyahu and tell them I hate bad investments. They haunt me, you know, like Littlefinger in Game of Thrones. But the thing is, the thing is, this is the problem. Israel always victimizes itself. And I have never seen a victim putting their oppressor under siege and bombing them 24 seven. Israel wants you to believe that they are the victim. Is, dealing with Israel is so difficult. It's like being in a relationship with a narcissistic psychopath. He fucks you up and then he makes you think it's your fault. All right, you Basim. look at Israel as Superman, but they're really Homelander. Wallah, they are like, they are, you, you, they are shooting Basim, fish in a barrel thing. and they are annoyed with the splashes. Basim, I want to say two things. One.